There was great consternation and outrage among the media and Democrats, as well as some Republicans, following President Donald Trump's summit in Helsinki, Finland, with Russian President Vladimir Putin. While the harsh criticisms and shouts of treason from the hard left and never Trump right are more than a little disconcerting, they are not the least bit surprising as that sort of reaction has become rather predictable in this day and age. Indeed, the stage was set ahead of the summit for just such a reaction by the media and Democrats, who displayed their glaring hypocrisy with regard to their coverage of Trump's diplomatic meeting as opposed to the diplomatic meetings held by former President Barack Obama or former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. That was the message delivered on Fox and Friends on Sunday morning by former U.S. Army Special Forces member and anti-terrorism expert Jim Hansen who pointed out the disparate ways in which Trump, Obama and Clinton were treated by the establishment and media following their particular dealings with Russia. Co-host Pete Hegseth began the segment by recalling Clinton's embarrassing attempt in 2009 to hit the reset button with Russia, using a hokey red plastic button that actually had the wrong Russian word printed on it to symbolize the development in you. S slash Russian relations, and Hillary walks into that meeting asking for nothing with her giant button that actually said overcharge in Russian, and she's telling them, OK, you can have whatever you want from us, Hansen said. Even a more glaring example was when President Obama was talking to, then President, Medvedev of the Russian Republic and tells him, after my next election I'll have more flexibility. He continued, now that is him admitting that he was lying to the American public during that election cycle, and afterwards he would give Russia what they wanted. But yet, where is the outrage? Where is the press saying we should investigate that? Hansen asked. Hegseth asked what sort of flexibility Obama was referring to in that particular remark, and if it meant allowing Russia to annex Crimea, invade Ukraine or even meddle in our elections. All of it. And that's the problem Pete, Hansen replied. You know the entire focus and entire stature of the Obama foreign policy was cringing capitulation, it was America last, what do you guys want, what can we give you, and it ended up making the world a much more dangerous place. In that case they were actually talking about missile defense, so the security of the entire free world for any attack by any crazed person with missiles, which could have included the Russians is being put at risk because Obama was willing to go ahead and bow down," Hansen said. And now, the media at that point in time had nothing to say, now President Trump wants to have a less antagonistic relationship with the Russians, maybe get them to stop hurting us with North Korea, stop hurting us in Syria, and all of a sudden it's the worst thing that ever happened," he continued. It's glaring hypocrisy, Hansen concluded, to which Hegseth could only reply. Absolutely it is, every single day of the week, when Obama and Clinton reached out and tried to make nice with Russia, they were applauded by the liberal media and establishment politicians on both sides of the aisle, even as Putin and Russia took full advantage of the naive good faith extended by Obama and Clinton. Now Trump is seeking to tone down the harsh rhetoric and smooth out the rough relationship between the U.S. and Russia and he has been attacked and smeared as some sort of Putin puppet that has sold out his own nation by the same folks who cheered similar efforts by Trump's predecessors. If that isn't glaring hypocrisy, nothing is.